What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So let's solve this problem here. So we have this steel rod with all these torques acting on it at these four points. And we want to find the angle of twist of point B with respect to A. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So we're going to be using two equations here. So the angle of twist itself is the sum of TL over JG, right? The internal torque in each segment. So we have to look at AC, CD, and DB. We have to add those three segments out times the length of that segment over JG, which is going to be constant for the entire rod. So J itself, let's solve for J first of all. J is the polar moment of inertia. This is just relating to how thick your pole is, basically. Uh, so C, right? Uh, what is C? That's radius. So we're given diameter is 40 millimeters, so our radius is going to be 0 0.020 to the fourth. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. What did I put here? Why did I put a 2.5? Oh, that's a different question. Okay, don't look at that. 2.51 times 10 to the negative seventh, and that's meters to the fourth. Okay, so we have that. Now we can go ahead. We have G. All right, this is just A99 steel. That's the modulus of rigidity for that. So we need to find basically the internal torque in each one of these segments. So let's go ahead and do that. So when you're looking at internal torque, you kind of want to take cuts similarly to how you would if you're doing shear or normal. So let's take a cut, right? Let's start with AC. So AC is this segment here. You basically want to take a cut anywhere between there. So I'm taking a cut with my paper because I don't want to draw all that work. It's a lot of time, you know? So if we look here, we have this 200 newton meters and that's going to be our internal torque at that point. Is that 200 newton meters? So we can label that internal torque AC is equal to, and then which direction is it? Well, similarly to moment, we take the positive direction to be counterclockwise. So that's counterclockwise, that'd be 200. Okay, so let's go to our next section. So let's look at CD. So we're gonna take a cut between C and D, and we're gonna add these up. So it's positive 200 plus a positive 600, they're both in the same direction. So you're gonna add them up, and you're gonna get T CD is equal to 800 newton meters. Now finally, we have B or DB, right? So we're gonna cut here in between D and B. So what do we have? Well, we have a positive 800, but then this one is going in counter to it. So a positive 800, but minus 1,200 newton meters, that's gonna give us negative 400, right? So we gotta make sure to include our negatives in this one. And then we're gonna notice that if we went the other way, we'd get the same thing, right? This is negative 400. Um, did I draw that the right way? Maybe. All right, negative 200, 400, this way, this way. All, we would get the same thing, but our numbers would be reversed. But it doesn't make a difference. We're looking for the total angle of twist and of A with respect to B. So that's what I've been with that way. You can do either one, though. I hope this chair is not in the seat. Oops, okay. So let's go ahead and solve our angle of twist. So all right, we're gonna sum them up. So what's it gonna be? Well, let's look. So first of all, J and G, they're going to be the same for the entire rod, right? J is what we calculated here. The rod doesn't change diameters at any point. So we can factor out that, a 1 over J. And then the G is the modulus of rigidity. That's the same for the entire rod because it's the same material. So then all we have to do is torque AC times length of AC plus torque CD, length of CD, plus torque DB, length of DB. So let's add that up, or let's just do that. So first of all, J, uh, 2.51 times 10 to the negative seventh, times G, which is 75, times 10 to the ninth, because that's what the giga means. Okay, so we're here. Then what do we have, right? So we have this 200 for AC, 200 newton meters times the length in meters, so that's 400 millimeters, so 0 0.4. Add it up to the next one, 800, that's its length, 0 0.5. We'll dot these. Maybe I'll just print the C's though. That's easy. And then we have to subtract this last one because it's negative, minus 400 times its length, 0 0.6 meters. Okay, make sure I plug that all in, all right? Looks good. You get that the angle of twist uh, in radians, right? It's going to give you an answer in radians 0 0.0127 radians. Now, if you want to convert from radians to degrees, all you need to do is multiply by 180 degrees over pi, right? Because 180 degrees is equal to a pi radian. Solve for this. 
going to write it up here. This is equal to, I hope they did it right, 0 0.730 degrees. And there you go, that's your final answer. So yeah, pretty cool. It's just about using the equations you know and being able to take the cuts. I'm thinking this unit is not that hard. Uh, so if you're still struggling with it, check out my videos. I have a couple more videos on this. Hopefully you can get the hang of it in just one or two more problems. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.